The Purpose of Vladimir Putin's Visit to China 1. Background of the Visit In 2018, China and Russia established a new mechanism to jointly promote interregional cooperation. All 22 members of the Russian Far East Federal District have joined China's One Belt, One Road initiative. It believes the interregional cooperation between China and Russia will surely bear fruits. Since 1949, and especially since the establishment of diplomatic ties between China and Russia in 1992, the world has never seen two countries with closer high-level exchanges, more profound friendship between the peoples, and more stable strategic cooperation. In 2018, President Xi Jinping and President Putin held four meetings, sent congratulatory messages to each other twice, and talked on the phone as many as 18 times. They reached important consensus on bilateral cooperation, major international issues, and global governance. As we enter the new era, in the face of profound changes and complicated international situations, we need a stable and strong strategic and cooperative relationship between China and Russia. We need to continue strategic leadership at the top level, ensure the continued close international and regional coordination, and enhance the strategic mutual trust and practical cooperation at the show incentivizing and guiding role. At the same time, China and Russia need to synergize our development strategies and our rejuvenation is not just a tool to create regional security, stability, and prosperity. In the next step, China and Russia will further extend the Frontier Service Group FSG, and give full play to its role in guiding bilateral cooperation so as to fully release the cooperation potential and benefits of the two countries and bring tangible benefits to the two peoples. 2. Goals and Objectives The main purpose of Vladimir Putin's visit to China is to discuss ways of further improving Russian-Chinese interaction, which has become a significant factor of stability and an important factor of influence on the creation of favorable global conditions for sustainable development, as well as the ability to jointly respond to challenges and threats. The two leaders intend to continue strategic negotiations on the most topical issues of bilateral cooperation and discuss international, regional problems and issues. Moscow and Beijing are adhering to the course chosen 10 years ago to build up a comprehensive partnership and strategic cooperation. What has been done has fully justified this strategy. The strategic and reciprocal relationship has developed to an unrivaled level among Russia's relations with other international actors. Drawn on creative energy from countless bilateral contacts, cooperation contributes to the greater goal of common security, limited prosperity, regional and global stability, as well as international cooperation. This makes the Russia-China relationship a significant and very attractive global factor. It serves to protect equilibrium in international affairs, advances multipolarity and supports international relations evolving to democratic order in the whole world. 3. Key Meetings and Agreements After official greetings at the highest level at Tiananmen Square, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin held talks. The two statesmen exchanged their views on the development of Sino-Russian relations and international and regional problems of mutual interest. Afterwards, negotiations continued between members of the government and delegations from both countries in the presence of the leaders of the two sides. The purpose of the visit by the President of the Russian Federation was to consolidate the strategic partnership between the two most significant members of BRICS. During the talks, new important agreements were made in a number of priority spheres, and a statement was made proclaiming the decision to foster a multifaceted cooperation and a strategic partnership in all areas of mutual interest, based on the principles of equality, mutual trust, and common advantages, within the framework of the global concept of a comprehensive, enduring, and strategic partnership. They agreed to take advantage of the key cooperation mechanisms in regular discussions at the level of heads of state and governments to invite collaboration within important international institutions and regional organizations such as the United Nations, G20, SCO, BRICS, APEC and ASEM to support mutually beneficial cooperation in the political sphere and to promote close cooperation within the SCO, G20 and the establishment of the Asia-Pacific situation. The two sides agreed to increase trust in various political spheres and to support each other on issues affecting sovereignty, security, and territorial integrity. Moreover, they promised stable collaboration in the Legislative Assembly of China-Russia, in foreign policy and coordination efforts in the International and the United Nations. 
for impact on international relations. The outcome of Putin's visit will definitely further promote Sino-Russian comprehensive strategic partnership of coordination. What's more, it will have very important and universal significance and meaning. First of all, it is in the common interest of both China and Russia to safeguard regional and world peace and tranquility. The current international situation is very grim. We can see all kinds of turbulence and chaos happening everywhere. The emergence of the chaos is inevitably related to the fact that the international order has been disrupted, the rules-based, safe, and stable development environment has been challenged. The hegemonism and power of some countries push the world into chaos. What China and Russia should do is closely align the comprehensive strategic partnership and play the friendship power card, especially the common responsibility to safeguard international order and to promote global governance. Therefore, President Xi Jinping and President Putin will talk with the other countries about the important consensus reached at the summit of Beijing and express their firm opposition to any practice of double standard, hegemonism, unilateralism which will disrupt the international order, incite interpersonal hostility, and push the international affairs towards chaos. They should work together with other countries to push the regional and world order towards a fair and rational direction. We believe that the visit, the two heads of state will thoroughly exchange the major international and regional issues based on the principles of mutual respect, treatment, mutual negotiation, and good faith, and reach many solutions and new political solidarity. 5. Future Implications Vladimir Putin's visit to China is a major breakthrough to signal the emergence of a grand-scale partnership of surrounding strategic importance. It is a defining moment in interacting between neighboring Eastern powers where major power leaders confirmed their shared vision of the global economic structure based on the reform of international economic and financial institutions, as well as high complementarities and mutual interests in bilateral economic and trade cooperation. Both the Russian president and the Chinese president have similar perspectives and common goals on international and regional issues including the reform of global governance institutions. This ultimately sets the tone for the further development and deepening of the China-Russia grand-scale partnership and renders mutual support and strategic bonus for joint development. Russian experts quoted that the energy sector is the key area of China-Russia cooperation. The East Route project, informally known as the Russia-China Gas Pipeline, an infrastructure construction project aimed at transporting natural gas from eastern Russia to China, is a major step in cementing ties between the two countries. It is worth mentioning that the gas agreement was historic as Russia's first major natural gas deal with Pacific country partners. In addition, both Russia and China see even greater potential opportunities in enhancing energy trade, bilateral cooperation in the upstream sector of the energy industry such as hydrocarbon exploration, production, and transportation, and tapping the global energy network through a Macau market. Notwithstanding, Russia and China have huge bilateral trade potential due to their geographic proximity, combined with their robust economic structures that are well complementary with one another.